2019, I'm back again at the same spot as last year. This is CES Las Vegas. Once again, we'll be walking the show floor by floor and we'll get you a complete coverage of the next three days. This whole show is brought to you by Rans Digital. Can't thank them enough. And uh, let me introduce you to our two hosts, to our beautiful Pallavi Das and Pogarana. Enjoy the show guys and just tell us what you feel below. concept of revolution, rise and roll and uh, the TV has basically inbuilt speakers inside the base of the TV from which it rolls. It works on a Gen 2 processor and watch out for this. Hi, I'm at the Samsung booth and I'm looking at this really beautiful technology called the wall technology. This has been created by Samsung's modular micro LED panels. Samsung booth and Samsung has come up with the most exciting and the most adorable product of the year that is their robot bot. Uh, we have three uh, divisions in it which is bot care, bot retail and bot air. Uh, the most interesting one is I think the bot care. It's basically a robot which is used to manage your health, your daily well-being. It's going to remind you when to take your medications. It comes in very handy, it's very pretty. Uh, acts with your emotions and that is I think which makes it more human. Please have a look. Hi, so I'm looking at the new Dell XPS 13 and what's new and amazing about this is that the camera has moved back to the top and it is 2.25 mm which took them two years to get here. Earlier it was to be 7 mm so which is amazing and the new color they have added is frost so now you can get 4k display with Dolby Vision support for HDR so they have optional fingerprint reader for biometric logins basic specs and configuration options include Intel 8 gen core i7 processor up to 16 GB RAM and up to 2 TB of storage We are at TCL booth guys and I'm going to introduce you to the next generation TV series that's called Roku TV. It's a 75 inch TV with QLED technology that boasts about 8K resolution. They have a new technology imbibed which is called backlighting technology and the company calls it quantum contrast. Roku TV is equipped with microphone to accept voice commands which is an exciting feature because that makes this TV remoteless. So you can have your voice command and you can operate the TV without a physical remote. So let's see how the industry copes up with that. Hi guys, we are at Sharp booth and Sharp has bounced back into CES after four years. Only this time with the motto of changing the world with 8K in a lot solutions. They have inbuilt 8K ecosystem built upon 8K solutions, devices and equipments and a lot of solutions. They have further collaborated with the field, the best of the field of design with Pin and Farina and Sound Aaron Cadden. Hey, so I'm at the Nikon booth and I just got to know that last night they've launched this lens. The autofocus performance of the lens has been boosted, especially for situations where like the camera noise has been a lot of trouble. This lens has been created especially for landscape, travel, event and architecture purpose. So here we are at South Hall and we are outside Sennheiser booth and I have Jacqueline right in front of me to talk about this cool wireless headphones. Those are our Momentum True Wireless. Um, they are um, a true wireless headphone, as the name suggests. 
you have four hours of battery time and you can charge using the case um, another two cycles on the go, which is uh, very useful, I think. Um, what's special about these earphones is that they have excellent sound because we're using our seven millimeter audio file drivers in them. And um, you have a transparent hearing feature that you can activate by double tapping on the right earbud, which um, lets you experience your um, outside environment and you know lets you stay safe in traffic, for example. Hi, so I'm checking out this Hero 7 Silver, which is rugged and undoubtedly the best action camera in the market. It can capture like really high quality videos thanks to EIS, which is electronic image stabilization. So it can shoot vertically, 2x slow motion videos, photo timers, short clips, voice control, etc., which is just so good, right? We are at UB Tech, and UB Tech is the maker of robotic toys, and now I have with me is Walker. As you can see, it has hand, it has torso, it has got arms, hands and a head, which makes it a mini humanoid. I think it's very incredible. Walker seems to walk fairly well on a smooth surface free of obstacles. It's exciting to see how well it can perform in different environments. I'm certainly excited to see what Walker becomes capable of a UB Tech continues its development. So what you see here is an AR and VR device that's uh, connected to a 5G phone. And this is right now the 5G internal Qualcomm reference device. But what we are showcasing here is a volumetric video. And the volumetric video means today you could, uh, you, once you put on the headset, you find yourself in Hawaii, you find people doing cliff diving, and you could actually move in the environment. It's a seated experience. You could actually, as people dive over the cliff, you could actually bend and look at the water. So you put on the headset okay. and you're watching a video. It's a uh, 360 degree video. The video is being streamed from a server over 5G. Hey, I'm at the Audio Technica booth and I'm looking at this headphones which was recently launched and it's called the ATH M50 XBT headphones and what's really special about this is the Bluetooth feature. So the earlier version of this which is the ATH M50 X was received very well by public because of his professional studio headphones. Now this one comes with Bluetooth which is amazing and it has like 40 hours of battery life and uh, supports the Audio Technica Connect app. We are at Audio Technica booth and today we're going to talk about Quiet Point noise cancelling wireless headphones and the specific product that I'm going to talk about is ANC 500 BT. Uh, the major difference is the noise cancelling technique that means that there's no environmental noise. Uh, the headphones have ear cups inbuilt which basically helps you in uh, volume adjustments, music playback and handling of calls. So I think it's pretty nice and handy. Uh, it has a battery life of 20 hours which makes it incredible. So I found this really cool watch by Garmin. It's called uh, Vivo Active 3 Music. It can have its own number and then you can receive and text messages and also download 500 songs. If someone wants to get in touch with you and you don't have your phone around, they can message you here and you can message back. So you're still connected with people. Hi everybody, we are at D-Link booth and today we are going to talk about the new series Wi-Fi routers called D-Link XO series and I have Trent with me who is going to give a very very quick review about it. Okay, so this is our new range of routers, there are five or eight routers in this series and they are just like a normal router except they feature a bunch of great new features such as internet security protection powered by McAfee, compatibility with the Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa, a built in Ookla speed test function and also the ability to create a wireless mesh network by using these extenders. I think that's a breakthrough in the market, let's have a look guys. Guys, we are at Panasonic booth and I'm going to fulfill your tech thirst by introducing you Lumix S1 full frame mirrorless camera system. It uses 35mm image sensor and it uses the world's first 4K 60mm video recording function and dual stabilization. Let's have a look. 
This is really cool headphones by Jabra. It's called Elite 85H. So it has 32-hour battery life, which is great, right? I mean, if you're on the run, you don't have to like worry about that. Also, it has something called smart sound, so it can figure out your surroundings and depending on where you are and how much of what you need. If there's traffic, it can control that. I mean, like whatever sound you need to hear, or if it's really quiet and you can only listen to music. So it's great, I think. This is what I need right now. What do you think? Hey guys, we are at Lenovo booth and I'm standing right next to their new smart assist laptop which is called Yoga S940. It's an 8th generation Intel Core processor and uh, it is the world's first PC with contour glass that wraps around its display. Yoga S940 has all metal unibody design with screen up to 14 inches with 4K HDR display and Dolby Atmos speaker system. It has battery life of almost about 15 hours. Skyworth and uh, Skyworth is a leading Chinese producer of audiovisuals, TV and home appliances. Right now I'm standing in front of Great Waterfall TV. It's a 65 inch OLED TV with great contrast and beautiful colors. Uh, the main feature of this TV is it can be mounted on a wall like a waterfall to show our personalized photos, pictures and beautiful memories. There is always a seamless integration with Skyward TV and smartphone to create a new engaging experience. Please have a look. Two fine gentlemen from the tech industry, Gary Shapiro, CES Gary and Kaushal Levriker, CMO Reliance Digital. Well, this is our largest event by far. We hit 2.9 million square feet, 290,000 square meters. Okay. And uh, we have over 4,500 companies with exhibits. Right. So Gary, what is the next big company thing, product that you think will be big in 2020 or the times to come? 2020? We're going to increasingly see uh, various artificial intelligence incorporated into products which will allow predictions about what consumers will do so they'll be better served. So it'll be extension of voice into all sorts of products. If you look at what, thanks to Geo, bandwidth now is available consistently and which is far better and cheaper than ever before across India. That makes a perfect case, use case for having the connected devices deployed. This is Gary Shapiro at CES 2019, the world's largest innovation event, the biggest, coolest, funnest, neatest place. See you one year, CES 2020. Have a wonderful Ninja Innovation year.